guys, welcome back to the workshop. So I've got a cool restoration project today. I think you're gonna like this one. I've been looking forward to doing it. I've had this for about two weeks now and just through other projects and life in itself, you know. So we're gonna to get to it today and I'm excited because I want to bring it back to life, make it look brand new again. So show you it and we'll get to it. So here it is here. Look at that rusty mess. <laughs> It's in pretty good condition, but um, all right. So we're just going to strip it all down. We'll get that frog out, get the hornels off, and I've got some white vinegar, and I'm going to leave it in white vinegar for a day or two, couple of days in that, uh, with some salt, and that's a really good corrosive get ready the rust so let's uh, strip this down I would usually get a wee scrape, my wee clean down, but heck, unnecessary. As I'm gonna, uh, gonna grind it all back down to the metal and repaint it. It's uh, original blue wool. No, the original blue. The blue that I've got is a, a tight lighter, uh, just a wee bit lighter, but uh, it'll still, still go and it'll look cool. We'll get this metal all back to. Looking nice, um, so I. So just get all that in there. And I'm just going to leave it outside in my wee cupboard um, because I don't want my workshop stinking of vinegar for days. <laughs> I'm just going to cover it with a wee bag. So, I'm just going to leave this here for a few days and I'll check in it daily, see how we're getting on. Just a wee teeny bit left at the top there. So that's cool. I'll just quickly do that the note. Pretty cool. So 
let's get this one done. And I'm just going to start by running it out of the belt sander. There we go, that'll do, man. I'm happy with that. It's not shiny. Mm. I've done that on the left, so you know it took me took me five minutes to do that literally. Where did I spend the last hour doing that? So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna bathe them in boiled linseed oil. I need to give the the actual plane a couple of days to soak in that. So in the next couple of days. I'll give these a few coats so that the oil can soak right into the grain. So it has been four days. Four days. Oh. Let's get it in and have a look. And we've got some bicarbonate soda just to neutralise it. Then I'm going to rinse it all the water. Look. Side. So let's get all these bits out and start cleaning them. Sorry. So I'm going to use a combination of going to wire wheel them and then I've got wee scouring pads for my Dremel. So why we wheel them, go wear them with wee scouring pads, um, and then finally sand them, sandpaper. Now I might have got all the paint after this as well, but I don't think it'll be too much of a challenge. It sh majority it should come off with the wire wheel, and then the last parts I'll get with the wee scouring uh, pads. Like. And then you got all this paint out as well, because I've got to repaint this bit. Which again, just flaking out because it's all all the paint. And we'll repaint this bit red. And all I will show you is uh, the the handles. So there is the handles. Uh, I've given them about five or six coats of boiled linseed oil, and they've came out really nice. Um, so you can just see the. Kind of dark brown, and once we've got, uh, once we've got it back together, but I'll put, uh, I'll put a uh, wax on it. So I right, let's start. See, so I'm I'm happy with the parts so far, especially the blade. The blade is uh, in amazing condition. Got a wee dodgy bits up the top, but the most important part is this part here, um, which is completely flat, no rust. So I might not do much to these. The blade, get a wee obviously sanded down, uh, and we'll fix the cap up. Um, and then this is going to get ground right back because I want that to look brand new again and then we'll repaint that. I've still got a wee bit of paint in there but I've got most of it off in here as well which, you know, this was just step one. You could get them polished, looking really, really cool. So before we move on to the actual plane, 
Um, I want to put all the screws into the lathe and get them down to new metal and give them a polish so they look brand spanking, you know what I mean? We want to do the plain justice, so I'll get them all looking new and I'm just going to, I'll basically just hit them with a wee file um, and then go through the sandpaper, you know, 120, 240, 400 and then get them a wee polish and that should be them. I've still got a wee bit of rust in there but I'll get to that with a wee wire brush when I'm doing the plane and bye so there we go and we can just put them in the lathe like that so we're just going to get that in there and the tape um, the tape will protect the threads we don't need to put it in mega tight you know Next one, one melted it, and they look hundred times better, man. It's always worth, you know, the time when you're restoring things. Um, it's always worth putting that that time in. No, no making any shortcuts, you know. But because at the end of the day, whatever you're restoring. If you take shortcuts, then it's the piece that will suffer, you know, the end result. Get these off and then move on to the next part. Looking a oh, hard times better. So that's most certainly looking a hundred times better. Um, besides, hmm, still a wee, wee bit there. Uh, no, really that noticeable by eye. Um, then we a wee bit there. You can see it. But um, no, I'm pretty happy with it. Yep. So I need to clean it all down. Because it's covered in oil in here. So I'll just clean it all down with acetone. 
Um, now we can paint it. But still got this one um, to clean up and paint. And then this here, and these are usually chrome. You can see the chrome's just all wore off it. There's a wee bit of chrome left there. And then paint that. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to grind it right down. And grind it right down to a certain level. Um, and we'll leave it like that. We'll, we'll leave it with a sort of brushed look. And then we'll, we'll paint that. So obviously it's important uh, what bits that we paint. So the frog sits in here and it rests on these bits here and that plate down there. So we don't want to paint the bits. So two coats should be enough for this. And I'm just going to do just a wee thin coat first. Just enough, just to coat it, let that dry, hour or two, and then we'll come back and we'll put a nice wee thick coat on it. There we go, I've given it one wee light coat and I'll let it dry an hour or so just until it's, you know, I can feel it's tacky starting to dry, then I'll come back in and get a nice heavier coat and that should be it let it dry for 24 hours um, but we've still got other stuff to work on so I'll get on with that We still have these two parts to work on um, I think I'm going to work on this part first and we can work on this and get this painted in the cap to deal with it. There we go man, pretty happy with how that came out considering I just used the belt sander um, <clears throat> so I used a uh, Started with a 240 um, and then I used a, a worn down 240 and then this one here is a it's a 400 but I've had this one for ye like years and it's got this layer of polish on it and um, now it's not took all the scratches out but you can see there's a, a, just a fine layer I think it looks cool man I took down, grinded all down inside there I didn't take too much away here because obviously this flat edge sits against the you know the actual blade but um aye pretty nice man and I sort of rounded the bit there a wee bit more and then I just used the belt sander to like sort of put a wee charm for just really to take the sharp edges away but we need to paint this now I'm just going to do these by hand That looks a hundred times better, man. Yeah, I'm not going to take it any further than that. There's no point. But I'll just do that to the blade as well. And then we'll reprofile the blade uh, and sharpen it. It's a hundred times better. hundred times better. And get the sides. Could be de done with a clean up as well. Uh, hold on the sides. I think I'll just run that of the belt sander actually, just to clean the sides up. Just a quick glance in the belt sander. Aye. So that is what I need to take away there. So let's try and do it on the, on the hand crank that I restored. Um, we'll see how we get on with that. Hmm. So uh, I'll go this way.
good. That is, that is difficult to use that. Um, but it's just about practicing. You never get good at something unless you practice it. But I will be going to the actual bench grinder to get the bevel. <laughs> go man that's that main bevel can't do that perfect right there If it needs a touch up, you know, then. There we go, man. Nice, just let that dry now. So let's work on the last bit. Like this, and then get it painted. I'll do. Just got to throw them in the lathe, my brass parts, and clean them with brass. They're, they're already shiny, you know, so just make them a, a wee bit extra. So that's all the parts been polished. Square. So I'm going to put boiled linseed there, everything, um, just to preserve it for rust. Um, and then I'm going to put some wax on the hornels and then we'll put it together. Okay. Doing weight. I'm just going to put wax on this as well, so just clean the oil off and then we'll just put a wee thin coat of wax on it and that's just to, to help with its function. Let it dry and then I'll buff it off, same with that, I'm just going to, going to just dry all these up and out and then we'll put it together. There we go. This is my favourite part of restoration. Putting it all back together.
that's it. So I set up. Blades bang on straight. So let's test it. Just double check this blade again. Nice. Just a bit of mill, so should get a bit of mill shave in here. But it's rough, so I'll move it down like one or two, and that'll get a bit deeper. Look. Doing one, just one week, quarter ton. Bye. That's nice, man. It's nice to use. <sighs> Aye, it is nice to use. I like it, man, look. I like it. So, let's try the ash. Oh, some nice shavings off that one. Diamond, nice and smooth. Nice. All right, so let's try the really hard dense wood. <laughs> Bit thick there, I'm not for my liking. Nice man. Aye man. Cuts really nice. That was a bit rough there with just the weird grain pattern. The ash came out really nice. And that really nice as well. Sorry? Turned out real nice, man. Look at that, man. For what it was, to what it is now. And it'll get used for an half few decades, that's for sure. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I think it's a bit of a longer video this time for my restoration projects anyway, because I really like to show you each step that's involved in, you know, bringing something that's rusty and unusable, you know, non-functional back to life. You know, I like to show every wee step like that. Obviously, you know, when you do that, when you're showing each step, you know, and you're breaking it down only, a, you, you know, maybe a 30 second 20 second part but then you've got like 30 different parts here it can make it up you know to a, to a lengthy video but it's a substantial video because it shows you what's involved and it shows you that anybody can restore you know tools like that so i'm really happy uh, with how it came out it came out better than i thought especially the soul because when i first done it um see i See, I, I went through two rounds of doing it. I spent one day doing it, and then when I, you know, put the flat edge to it, and that, I seen that it wasn't quite right. 
and um, it still had pitting and that in it and I just you know I didn't like that I wanted to do it justice and you know do it better so I basically started for the start again and um, so I definitely took a good mill made a laugh at us for sure um, but I'm, I'm really really happy with how it came out the Hornos everything you know it's uh, it looks like a new plane I, I'm really really pleased with it and I'll definitely use it I need to make a holder for it but I plan to move all my stuff about soon so I need to make a few holders for the planes so I man I hope you've enjoyed and maybe inspired to get some old stuff yourself and bring it back to life you know so I if you've watched to the end congratulations <laughs> you know I, I appreciate that a day um, especially those who have subscribed and they follow and watch my, all, my, all my videos you guys rock you know like um but if you're watching and you're not subscribed which you may watch my videos and not realize that you're not subscribed to my channel so check that you know and if you enjoy my content subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to all notifications so that you see when i upload my next video so i man that's about all for my restoration projects for the time being i uh, bought a good few things as you've seen in the last month or two uh, it's just been restoration projects so that's the more out the way now and i've enjoyed myself uh, but i now need to get back out of the meat yeah uh, which is with working in projects so i guys i'll see you in the next project all right take it easy and god bless guys see you later